Hi everyone, so today we are going to look at another direct method to solve system of linear equation. Okay, I did mention direct method. So the direct method that we're going to look at for today's lesson will be LU factoring. with maximum column pivoting. Now, this sounds a bit new to everyone. Okay, so um, LU factoring with maximum column pivoting consists of three main steps. Okay, the first part will be factoring. Okay, what it means? So, we need to find, we need to find Lower triangular L, this is the lower triangular matrix, as well as we need to find the upper triangular matrix. And a permutation matrix, okay, this is permutation matrix. The permutation matrix is a matrix involving 1 and 0 depends on where the operation that we need to do occurs. Okay, and then the, the second step we want to do is um, we need to find Ly equals to Pb. Okay, of course, um, B is the vector. Vector B occurs from um, the system of equation. Okay, this is the B. P is the permutation matrix. L is the lower triangular. And Y is the equation we want to obtain using forward substitution now once we obtain our y the third step we want to find ux equals to y now u is the upper triangular x is the uh, system of equation the x1 x2 x3 and so on that we want to solve now this one we will use back substitution So these are the three main steps that we want to look at uh, when solve a system of linear equation using maximum column pivoting. Now what it means that the objective is to find all the multipliers. Okay, that's one new term that uh, you're going to listen to is multipliers. So this multiplier depends on the zero element. For A21, A31, and A32. All these are zero. Every time the operation involved, when we are finding them to become zero, we have a multiplier. Now, once all this multiplier obtained, we can write down the lower and upper triangular. Now, remember, this is we have A3, A21, A31, A32. For a system of 3 by 3 equation. Okay. Now if you get, get the idea. Let's look at. Um, let's look at. Um, the ways to do it. Okay. This is pretty long. Um, way. But uh, I'm going, just going to show you. Directly by going to one example. Okay. Let's look at this example. Solve. x1 plus 2x2 minus 3x3 equals to 1. 2x1 plus x2 plus 4x3 equals to 2. Negative x1 plus 4x2 plus x3 equals to minus 2. So we want to solve using LU. So that's not U. LU factoring. Okay, when I say LU factoring here, it means with maximum column pivoting. Okay, now, first we want to write the matrix A. Okay, the matrix A, let's write this. So, what is our matrix A? This is our matrix A. 1, 2, minus 1, 2, 1, 4, minus 3, 4, 1. Okay, now we want to find 
L U equals to P A. Okay, so to do this, we need to follow the three step that I have mentioned earlier on. So what is the first step? Factoring. In the first step, okay, we set a vector. Okay, this is very important when we want to do, uh, when we want to find the multiplier. So set a vector, vector, and p. Let's let's call n p. One, two, three. Okay, this is to record how many rows are being interchanged. Okay, so right now, no interchange occur. Okay, don't forget, this is my row 1, row 2, row 3. Now, as you interchange row 1 with row 2, that means this will be interchanged to 2, 1. If I change row 3 with row 2, so I will have 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, something like that. Okay, this is what this vector NP is for. Okay, now the second step involved in factoring is to search the first column. Okay, this is the first column. Okay, this is the first column. Search through the first column. C1, let's call it C1, C2, 3, 3. The element with the largest in magnitude. Magnitude. Forget about the negative. Largest number. So by inspection, the second row, number 2 here, has the larger element so the first and second column are interchange okay so we interchange interchange first and second column okay so now we have a new equation i mean a, a new matrix a 2, 1, 4, 1, 2, minus 3, minus 1, 4, 1. Now, this is a very important step. Okay, since this one we did it, so my NP will change to 2, 1, 3. It's very important. We need to use that for our B vector later on. Okay, once this step is done, now what we need to do is to make make a to 1 equals to 0. Exactly like how we did with um, the Gauss elimination video, how to make this part here 0. Okay, so I can say that R2, row 2, you can start with R2 minus half of row 1. Okay, now the half here up here is called the multiplier. Let's put it m to 1. Okay, the denominator 2 here is called the pivot. So we will say the pivot is 2. Okay, let's do the operation. So I have row 1 and row 3 remain the change. Now, row 2 minus half of this. So, this will be 0. 2 minus half. So, this one will be 3 over 2. And then minus 3 minus 2. So, this one will be minus 5. Okay, that's a good. Now, the next part is to make a 3, 1 equals to 0. This part here. How to make the 0? Okay, so we can write R3 minus negative half of R1. Okay, so again, let me write it down. R1, R2, R3. So R3, in other words, R3 plus half of R1. Okay, so we will make this one zero. So what is our multiplier? Our m31 multiplier is equals to negative half so row 2 
row 1 and row 2 remain the same. Now my row 3 become 0, 4 plus half of this, it will become 9 over 2, and 1 plus 2, which is 3. Okay, this is good. Now we have obtained, we have, we have made this to 0. So now what we do, we insert back, insert back the multiplier. m21 and m32 into this into the new uh, matrix so we have half m21 is half and m31 sorry this is 31 just this one negative half 9 over 2 and 3 okay that's that's the operation for the first column Okay, this is what we did. We just look at the first column. That's the operation for the first column. Now, the second part will be find the largest magnitude in the second column. By inspection, the third element in the second column. This one is the largest magnitude. Okay, so we interchange the second and the third. So we have 2, 1, 4, negative half, 9 over 2, 3, half, 3 over 2, minus 5. So my NP earlier on was 2, 1, 3 changed to 2, 3, 1 because I've interchanged the, the second and the third. Okay, now based on this, the only step we need to make is to find A320. So to make A320, we would say R3 minus a third R2. Okay, so this one remain the same. 9 over 2, 3, half. Sorry. Um, now, what happened here when I row 3? Okay, row 3 is the one make operation. Row 3 minus a third of 2. Okay, so we have... Don't, don't change this operation. So, this, this minus a third of this will give me 0. Minus 5 minus a third of this. Minus 5 minus 1. Minus 6. Okay, so recall. So, A31 does not change. Okay, so one suggestion will be you insert the multiplier at the end. Or you can do it um, like what I did just now. Okay, so now this will give me. This is a multiplier m 3 2 so insert back so i will have 2 1 4 minus half 9 over 2 3 half negative 1 over 3 negative 6 okay now based on this i can say that my L, which is my lower triangular, okay, so, and the upper triangular, 2, 1, 4, 0, 9 over 2, 3, 0, 0, minus 6 okay this is just step one so we don't have much time so i will show the step two in the next video